Hey everybody, today's video is about Visio 2013 and specifically about the fact that in Visio 2013 all the org charts are really beautiful, but you can't get one of those standard simple templates like you did in 2010. So let me demonstrate real quick. Uh, we have Visio 2013 open right now, and if I go through my different types of templates, one of them is of course organization chart. And if I pick this organization chart, on the left-hand side, differently from 2003, 2007, and 2010, these org chart shapes are all really nice. They have this belt template, but also if I go into the different shape templates, I see perspective, I see shapetacular, I see notch, lots of interesting shapes, but none of them is that fundamental standard shape that you're used to in the old system. And so if you're in 2013 and you want to make another one of those diagrams, what can we do? Well, one thing that we can do is go back to Visio 2010. Usually you can have both of them installed on the same computer at the same time. Uh, just go open up a new org chart template and then just go file, save as. And instead of saving it as a new drawing, as you can see here on the drop down menu, I could save it as a template file. I'll just you know save it to my desktop and give it a name like a standard org chart template or something like that. And by doing this, what's going to happen now is that when I go back to it and I double click on it, uh, this will open up in Visio 2013 and have these standard simple shapes. So here I am on my desktop. My template is sitting right there. As you can see, if I go to it and I double click on it, even though it's a 2010 template, because I have Visio 2013 on my computer and I double click on it, it will open in Visio 2013. And on the left hand side, this is where the proof is, you can see that these shapes are the stripped down simple shapes that you're accustomed to. They're the ones that have that basic black and white formatting. In the same way, if I look up at the top of my screen, I see that same simple formatting. And so opening a Visio 2010 file and saving a template is how you get this to work.